Okay guys, I went ahead and finished up the grouping of the fixtures. So let's go ahead and make our stage uh, layout. So we have our groups and we have our movers. So we select our, you know, our mover 155, intimidator 55s. It selects all of them that we had grouped. And then we select them one at a time. And when they're all selected, the main uh, group gets selected as well. We have our hazer, our house lights. I didn't, I didn't actually do the laser yet. I actually forgot about that. Oh, here it is. So 39 is, let's go ahead and look. 38 and 39 are lasers, so I didn't do that yet. Let's do that real quick. I like with a Z. 39, record right laser. Okay, so we have our lasers. And all right, let's go ahead and make our 2D plan. We're going to go ahead and find the 2D plan in the scroll bar. You see it's blank. It's on our live mode. We're going to go ahead and select it, the live, click the live, and it goes into edit mode. It's a bit zoomed out, so we're going to go ahead and you can use your scroll wheel to zoom out, or you can click this bar here and scroll in or out, or you can do min or 100, whatever, whatever you need to do. So we're going to scroll all the way out, and then select pan, select our select button, hit pan, so you can pan around, and I'm going to hit, click our options to take the options away. And I can make this, the this is the programming keyboard, I can make it change size just by clicking that button there. Okay, so now that we are panned out, we're going to go ahead and add some fixtures. So normally I like to start with the stage lights, and normally they're coming across the stage. So we're going to click on add mode. Right now it's just click, it's a click, one click and it adds one fixture. We're going to go ahead and click on the chain. Okay. And um, I have zero fixtures selected. So we're going to go back to our groups area. And we're going to go ahead and click on our stage lights. And you see it selects them. Like just click on the direction you want to select them so 16 through 21 from left to right we'll go back to our 2d plan and add we have our six fixtures selected chain we're going to go ahead and add oops, place fixtures and place them well it's actually um, try again. Okay, so add, go to chain, place fixtures, draw a line to place your items, and draw a line of, of stage lights, and we got our stage lights. They're a bit small for me right now, so I'm going to hit options, and then bring the scale up a bit, and maybe just right there. No, maybe bigger. So those are our stage lights. You can also change the direction of them as well. It doesn't matter so much on just uh, basic fixtures, but you can change that too. You can do a lot of different things here. Um, so we're going to click our options to go away, and we got our first fixtures done. We're going to clear, clear. That clears the selection, so when you click on add, you see that they're not selected anymore. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our house lights. We're going to add our left house lights, and our right house lights, so left and then right. Going to go back to our 2D plan. We're going to hit add. Go back to add mode, just this four, four, six, ugh, four fixtures selected. See if this works. One, two, three, four. Now I want them to be bigger, so this is the left side and this is the right side. Options make them a little bigger so you can control them easier. See, these are not really aligned correctly, so we're going to go ahead and align them. And see, they push up against that line, so it's going to make them nice and straight. Do a bunch of different stuff here. Okay, so now that we have our house lights and our stage lights, we're going to go ahead and put our color bands in. Um, let's say let's say they're going to be on top of the stage, coming across, um, maybe next to the 
Glico is their stage lights. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select our color bands. In the order that we want to select them, back to our 2D plan, add, do an align, place fixtures. All right, so there are our color bands. Maybe make them bigger. I'm not sure if I, there we go. Try to make them maybe a little bigger. I don't want to confuse them, so yeah, we'll make it bigger. Now, if we, we have them selected here, I'm going to clear them out. Let's go ahead and go here and select these guys like this. Now, we've selected them. I'm not sure what order it's selected. I'm probably left to right, but I'm not sure. And now we can bring up our intensity. You can see that intensity goes up. And um, if we want to go to, our, we can go to FR FX timing, not 48. Don't worry about this. Just kind of looking to see how it looks. So you can see that it's going all the way from the left to the right. That means that that's how they were selected too. Don't worry about all this. Okay. There we go. Now, <clears throat> we have our color bands in there. Let's look and see what else what we got. We have our movers. So let's select our four movers. And back to the 2D plan. Edit mode. Add. We'll add them as a line. You can do all kinds of things, but this is this is good for now. 90% of the things I can do with a line. Let's imagine they're behind the stage or above back by the people shooting down at, shooting at a 45 degree at the stage. I think that'll be the best way to do it anyways. So there we go. Make them a little bigger. Yeah. Can move them all together. Make sure they're lined up. You can even equal the spacing out, but I'm pretty sure that because I did the line there, they're already equally spread. Okay. Now, by default, they're just uh, their default position is straight up or straight down, right? So if I bring the swing up, oh, I don't want to do that. Undo that. Um, bring the intensity up. You can see that they're straight uh, up or straight down. Now we're going to bring our pan, to, pan tilt angle forward. I think they're straight down right now because as you can see, I'm pushing up and they're going the direction we're going. So now when we do it at a 45 degree angle, it looks great. Maybe it's a bit much. But you see you can play with that to see that they're they're working really great. Okay. And we're gonna do presets on pan and tilt and presets on light and color and all that in the next video. But see that they're working really good. So we have our front fixtures. We're going to put some other fixtures here on the floor. So we'll go ahead and we're going to do the we're going to make the 250s go on the far left and far right and then the the 250s on the far left and the mover 350s in the middle. So Go left, then to do this one, and then we'll do uh, not this one. We'll do this one, and then this one. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Add Put these here. Make them bigger. And I'm going to flip them around, rotate them. Um, and then I'm also going to flip vertical, maybe flip horizontal. It's kind of a, it's, you know, you have to work on it. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and go out of our edit area, bring up the intensity, 
where you can hit highlight, that basically turns on the light that you're selected. It's great for troubleshooting. So then we're going to hit pan tilt and we're going to hit tilt angle. And it's it can be hard to do when you're uh, not there, because when you're there, you can see what's happening. Uh, you can't really see what's happening here. Um, okay, that's right. No, no. Sorry, you just got to mess with it. But if you're there and you can see what's what's happening, you can you can mess with it, mess with it when you're there. For some reason, on my on my program, it's not the text doesn't work. But normally, when you go to places and you use your computers, the text does work. So you can select your fixtures and say, hey, I want to see the text or what, what not. You can change the way the different things. You can see the name and what not. I don't know why it doesn't work on mine, but normally that does work. OK, so we're going to clear, clear. You want to uncheck your highlight button so you don't do that in the show. We have our movers. Uh, we can do our lasers as well. We also have our pars. Let's do our pars. Columns. Okay. These are going to be above the stage, right? I'm going to put these in the back, put these in the front. Yep. Be above the people. All right. Perfect. That is our 2D di diagram for now. We'll add our lasers in. And one or, one or two more things, guys. One, one or two more things and I want to show you. To our left laser here and our right laser here. Who knows where it would actually be? Okay. So now uh, I do want to show you adding groups as well. So when you're on the fly and you're doing stuff, you don't want to necessarily being you know selecting stuff. Well, try to select everything in the order that you want to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add groups. Groups. So you can add groups and you can select the groups as well. Um, so that's one of the reasons I have all color bands selected. I'm going to place this group here where the color bands are. I'm going to make it bigger so you can see it easier. And then I'm going to add another group. I'm going to add. House lights, put that here. What our stage light group too? Stage lights. Then you can name them. You put your put the name on it as well. It's not working on mine, but it it normally does work. Um, you just see, you select it, it selects everything at once. And I would go ahead and do that for the movers as well as the par lights and everything. The lasers would have a little group next to them as well. Uh, 
Oh yeah, we hadn't ate, we hadn't added the hazer yet. Hazer. Okay. This is how to make the 2D diagram. I hope that is helpful. You can do a lot with it, but that's just the basics.